Hi guys, Mental Funky English will be sure to share a problem with me. Remote duplicates from sorted array, the second part question. So, given an integer array, sorted in non-decreasing order, remove some duplicates in place such that each unique element appears most twice, at most twice. So, the relative order of the elements should be kept the same. So, in the previous question, we have solved the easier part of the remote duplicates at which um, they had told that each unique element should appear only once. But here they say it's at most twice. So that at most twice means, so if they're given an array like 0, 1, 1, then 2, 2, 2. So you could see this 2 is appearing 3 times, 1 is appearing twice, and 0 is appearing once. At most twice. So which means these two are valid. So this is once, this is twice. So one is happening twice, that is okay. At most twice, okay. Zero is happening once, once is also okay. So at most twice, it can appear zero times, one times, or two times. And not more than that. Greater than that, not allowed. So three will not be allowed. It's not greater than three, greater than two will not be allowed. That means three, four, five, any number of elements after that is not allowed. So that is what they mean. And it's already not decreasing order, sorted order, and yeah, unique image should, should appear at most twice. Since it is impossible to change the length of the array in some languages, you must instead have result instead have the result be placed in the first part of the array nums. More formally, if there are key elements after removing the duplicates, then the first key elements of the nums should go in a final result. It doesn't matter what you leave beyond the first key element. So, what do you mean by that? So in this example, you could see 0 is appearing twice. Is it fine? Yes, it is. At most twice you have good. Then 1 is appearing 4 times, but that is not allowed. Only the first two can be eligible to be in the resultant array. So what we do is, first two will be given and next two will be go, go, will go to the end of the array. So after this, 2 and 2 is appearing once, so that is okay. Then 3, 3 is appearing, that is also fine. So these two elements can contain anything. So the result should contain, the correct element should be in the beginning, and the remaining uh, extra elements with more than a unique at most twice what the condition is say. If that is there, then it can be next part of the array. And then, so return key after placing the final result in the first case slots of the nums. Then do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place with 0 of 1 extra memory. So what do they mean by this? You should not take an extra space or like hash map, hashing techniques or any other method you should not do. Only within the existing array we have to perform the operation. Uh, so, in the sense, hashing, how can we use here is like, we will have a hash map, let's say, hash map. So, first zero is the array, first uh, key will be the num array element and value will be the number of times that array element is appearing in the array. So, zero we have. So, you can, in the zero, it's appearing once. Then one is not present in hash map, so one is appearing once. Then again this one. So 1 is already present, but you increment the count by 2 now. Then 2, 2 is not present in hash map. Then here, uh, 2 comma, okay, 2 comma 1. So when it comes to here, 2 comma 2, then when it comes to end, it will be 2 comma 3. So this is the hash map you have. So next time, each time you have to uh, find a value in the hash map. If it is lesser than or equal to 2, then okay, you can assign it to the array, otherwise no. But let's not focus on this method now uh, because as they clearly said in the question, do not allocate extra space for another array or anything. You must do this by modifying the input that inputs with 0 of 1 extra memory. So if you use this, this entire thing will have extra memory. So this is not at all allowed. Within the array, how do we solve the problem? That is what we need to focus on. Okay. And We'll take an example, this one, 0, 0, so here it is 0, 0, then 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2. 
So logically, if you see, zero is appearing twice. That is all fine. Then one is one is appearing four times, but only two times we will have it. So the, these two ones will be rejected. Next comes to two comma two. So two comma two is also good. It's not two either. It's two. We just say ah yeah two three three okay two three comma three yeah now two is appearing once so it is fine next three is appearing twice so the next two elements can be one or blank anything it's fine or it doesn't matter so it can be three comma three as well it doesn't matter whatever is there but the key elements what you have the unique elements here unique elements means any element appearing at most twice in the array. So these are twice, this is twice, once, twice. So the number of unique elements here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is the answer which we need to return. And the uh, array should be modified in this manner before returning the 7. You cannot just count and return. You have to modify the array as well. So what is the approach to solve the problem? So we will have one pointer. Index. I will it as i n. Okay. And I will not point it to zero position, instead I will point it to first position. And we have pointer for loop pointer for loop running from i equal to 1 to lesser than n. n means the array length of course. So this is i pointing to first position, not second position, it's first. Okay. And we will have another variable called count equal to 1. So, why am I giving count equal to 1? You could see I am starting to follow and indexing from the first position. And this element is not taken into consideration. So, count will be 1 because keeping this first element in the mind, we have taken count equal to, equal to 1. And then after that, what we have taken? Indexing and I pointing to the first position. Now, why are we taking first position as indexing? Because here our motive is to compare this element with the previous element, any element with its previous element. So we start from first indexing only. We do not have any previous element, that's why we start from first position and zero element will be taken as count as one. So that is how it's sorted. Now we check whether uh, array of i is equal to equal to array of i minus one. So it's zero equal to equal to zero. Yes, it is. So that means we have to include the count. So count will be 2 now. So after increment the count, check if count is less than or equal to 2. So if count is less than or equal to 2, that means nums of, not num, I will take array of index will be equal to array of i, right? So that means 0 will be assigned to index position and then increment the index. So the index will be incremented to here. So index will be incremented to here. So next i equal to 2, i equal to 1 then i equal to 2, so i will be pointed to here. Check whether 1 is equal to equal to its previous element. Is it equal? No. At this time, this means since star is already in the sorted order, this means 0 is done. Now, all the elements which will appear next will be either 1 or greater than 1. So, count will be reinitialized to, for this, the else condition will be, count will be reinitialized to 1. So, if array of i equal to equal to its previous element, then count will be incremented. That's it. If it's not equal, it's a new number. So count will be reinitialized to 1. So once count is reinitialized 1, again check this. So this has to be checked for every loop. But this, in this two, only either this will be executed or this will be executed. If it is equal, this will be executed. If not equal, this will be executed. After checking the either of these two, come into this. So here check whether count is less than or equal to 2. Count is 1. So count is 1 again. So yeah, it is less than or equal to 2. So array of index will be 1. That means, okay, this is the indexing for the output array. Indexing for the output array, right? For result and array. So yeah, this will be 1. So index will be incremented. Next come, 
i equal to 3. Again, set i is equal to equal to previous position. Yes, it is. So, increment the count. So, count to be again 2 now. So, once increment the count, check whether count is less than equal to 2. Yes, it is. So, array of indexing will be equal to array of i. So, that is same way, one way. Next, increment the index again. And next loop, i equal to 4. Check whether i is equal to the previous element. Yes, it is. So, count will be incremented. So, that will be incremented to 3. Now comes the part. See, count is, is it less than or equal to 2? No, count is 3, right? It's not less than or equal to 2. So, that means what we need to do? So, count is less, not less than or equal to 2. This won't be executed. So, indexing will be here. We just go to the next loop. So, i will be incremented. Why? This is indexing of the result rate array. So, result rate here instead of 1, it should be 2 actually. So, until the next number comes in, we have to again check whether i 1 is equal to equal to 1. Yes, it is. So, count will be incremented. Count will become 4. Of course, it's not less than equal to 2. So, again, i will be incremented. Now, 2 is not equal to 1. That means count will be reinitialized to 1. So, count will be reinitialized to 1. So, once count is reinitialized to 1, it is less than or equal to 2. Now, array of index equal to array of i. So, array of index is pointing here. Array of i is pointing here. So, that means here, instead of 1, what will be? It will be 2. So, this 1 will be gone. gone and array of index will be equal to array of i. That is 2. Now, we increment the index. So, again increment the index. You could see the changes happening. The result and array, right? Again, check whether okay for the next loop you go 3 equal to 2. No, it is not. So that means count will be initialized to 1 and it is 1 already. So it will be 1 again. Again, here 1 is less than or equal to 2. Yes, it is. So array of index will be equal to array of 5. So this is 1 again will be replaced by 3. This will be replaced by 3. So we could see 3, 2. Then again, i index will be incremented and similarly. We will go to the next loop. So here check again. 3 equal to equal to 3. Yes it is. That means count will be incremented. So count will become 2 no? So is 2 less than equal to 2? Yes it is. So array of indexing will be equal to array of i. So array of index is pointing here. Array of i is pointing here. So 2 will be replaced by 3. So next index will be incremented. And I also will be incremented to the next row, but it has come out of the array, so we will stop it. So we could see the result in array 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3. And what is the count here? So count here is nothing but index, if you carefully observe. So index was what here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 was the index, and that itself is the count. So, we will return index as a number. And array we have modified. And yeah, because it started from 0, at last our index will point to the next portion of the array, result in the array. But still, since the indexing started from 0, the count will be balanced to 7. Okay, we will program this now. So, in n equal to nums uh, dot length. Next, what we need to do? So, we will have two variables int count will be equal to 1, then int index will be equal to 1. So, for loop, we start from or int i equal to 1, i less than n, i plus plus. Check if nums of i equal to equal to nums of i minus 1. So, if they are equal, you just increment the count. If they are not equal, what we need to do? We have to reinitialize count equal to 1. So, after checking this, each loop we have to check if count is less than or equal to 2. If it is true, then nums of index will be equal to nums of i. And index should be incremented. So, index plus plus. So, or instead of doing this, or we can look, we will have index plus plus here. So, this is what we will do. It will assign nums of i to nums of index. Next, index will be created by 1, 2, 
position. So yeah, that's it. So at last we have to return the index. Okay. We will submit this. Yeah. And for C plus plus also it's the same code. Only instead of length you have to give size. So we we'll copy paste the same code. Here, which will be size. Yeah. Yeah, it's accepted. Okay, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.